world. Hello, YouTube. Hello, everybody. Here we are at Gary's Breakfast. These are those uh, dehydrated hash browns, rehydrated. Right, they're really, really handy. I don't like using them because they're so handy. <laughs> Get it? But, you know, just put them in the old uh, water, rehydrate them, and throw them in for 10 minutes, and off they go. I had to use some of these because, you know, we're running low, it's in the month, and this and that. All right, here's this little corned beef hash for Zoe, she wanted some. Here's my star right here. This is my pan that I rescarded. Re there we go. We didn't need to use that. Look at that. Beautiful. Got it out of the discard pan, you know, so I rescarded it. And it works like a dream. I've never seen a, a cast iron pan do so well. So that's the uh, <laughs> that's the subject of this video. I'm just I'm being a poop and making someone jealous. She knows who she is. <laughs> it's an eight inch pan. It's a lodge. The one thing I kind of don't like about it, but I can bug out live with it is their logo is on the bottom. I'll show it to you later. And it creates kind of a cool spot right in the center because it makes the pen thicker. But I can't believe I found this pen and was able to rescard it. So we're going to see how it cooks. And it, it does a fine job. I, uh, it toasts, uh, you know, like uh, grilled cheese. We grilled ham and cheese. We had tuna melts last night. Man, this is it. I found a uh, a website called Starbright or Starlight. I'll put the link in the description of a 10 inch, but it's a smooth one. And uh, since this performs so well, I'm going to get that and then I'm going to throw all these pans away and just use the 10 inch. Because this has performed far better than this uh, Teflon. This is one of my older ones. We've just got the Zobot that for eggs, but still. Oh, yeah. That's just fine. Let's see. I use uh, stainless steel chopsticks, usually for stirring. My son got me these, and man, they're really, really handy for cooking, for whipping up eggs. Right for scrambles and all kinds of things that you know. Look at that, beautifully done. Now, voila! Watch. Oh, isn't that something? I can't get over it. How much this here? Right out of the. Right out of the bin. I did have to wash a little bit because there was still some food. It looks like uh, when they came and got it or threw it away, it was somebody's meal was half-assed in it. Pink salt. Pink salt has trace minerals and that's that kind of thing. And it's a uh, more earthy salt, you know, as opposed to sodium chloride, white table salt. And it's also bleached, and they uh, they wash it, and they just have S A L T you know, in it, so, yeah, it's coming right in, looks firm, let's see if we can shake it off, yep, look at that, shake it off, I'm just, I'm, I'm out of my mind over it, make sure I'm still, that is so cool, right out of the discard bin, we got this, French press, you know, French press. I think I'm gonna give this to my brother. He likes press coffee. I like mocha coffee. Yeah, you've seen my mocha pot. Uh, that kind of thing. A little pepper. There we go. Look at that. I can't believe that. I used to have just absolute fits over 
Now I'm going to go cast iron completely. I'm going to do, I have a griddle that I'm going to whip out, but I have to season it better. And we'll turn off the hash browns. This is the way. Just about, yes. Scoop your stuff for you. Can they see me? They're gonna see you! <laughs> see how much you eat? Oh, you eat all that! Oh, no. You like to kid around a lot. Okay, your, hash, your uh, corned beef is under there. And having my past, you know, I have a. What would you call it? History. Of working in restaurants, so I can cook up a real good. Well, no, Dad didn't put any spices in there. You know, that's how I can. You're right. You're welcome, dear. Yes, my children are very polite. They're good kids. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Now, here's my Kamal. Y'all remember, and the handle, watch. And you can set that on other pans while you're cooking. And even with the paper plate, right, it keeps everything nice and warm. So what we're gonna do, find my spatula. Walk in them taters in there. This still, this big pan works pretty good. It's a done deal. Need some hash, corned beef hash. It's a special treat. We don't get corned beef hash unless I break down and get it out of the corn room because it's a reserve. I'd rather have this, you know, to eat in an emergency or in a in a breakdown than hash browns. No hash browns, the dry ones, they'll last for a thousand years. You know, they won't go anywhere. Another thing about the Kamal. Fits on most any pan. Remember, a little bottle. That's it. A couple eggs. I buy eggs by the crate, by the way. I don't get them by the dozen or the 18s. Far, far, far more economical. Matter of fact, let's have a look. As soon as I drop this egg, we'll have a look. See, I buy by the case. Five bucks. That you, it was three and a half dollars a case, but now they kind of went up a little. But that's the way I buy eggs because they last a long time. My new freezer, refrigerator. All right. Back to the cooking channel. Put my eggs in. Pink salt. Now, when you cook in the restaurant, you don't, you know, spice your eggs. People get mad. Pepper. Now another thing with this cast iron, it definitely reflects the heat. Whatever heat you have down here, sooner or later it'll be up here and then it'll be a perfect like symbiosis. I like that word, I'm going to use that later. Symbiosis. Right. Now these thin pans, these are dollar store pans. It's like you just put the stuff right on the burner, they're so thin. But they still have their use. This one's a thicker one. Ooh, that plate's warm. I can't remember what it is. But it's been done a lot of cooking here, boy. Let's hope we'll see where it come up. Well, I just don't want to bust the yolk. That'll irritate me. <laughs> we call these eagle eggs way back when these guys were kids, you know, you want eagle eggs? Yes, I want eagle eggs! Instead of scrams. But I, just, I can't get over myself, I found this, this excellent pan, excellent pan. Got a little 
torchy. You have to wait a long time. Say you adjust your burner. There's one thing. Um, it takes a while for the heat to dissipate. Either way, up oh, takes a long time to heat, long time to cool down. But otherwise, man, this pan. Because I got some uh, corned beef hash on my spatch or on the pan. Oh, yeah. Voila. Now I'll try it with just a little bit of grease. Oh, I thought I was going to bust that one. Look at that. A weak shell. La, la, la. See, now that's keeping that nice and warm. That's a lot of food right there. That's too much. Pink salt. Canned pepper. Take my pepper shakers out of pepper. Voila. Oh, the shell broke. Or the yolk broke on that one. Oh, well. It's funny, eh? Yeah, with a goofy egg, the shell was weak. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun watching egg cook. So anyway, there it is. My pan, my French press. There's a couple other items. Found a big half-inch drive drill motor. A whole bunch of expensive clothes. And uh, that's what we get. We can't, I can't walk along like uh, Little Bones can, because the town's so small and a lot of people walk and they find stuff before I can. But the dumpster now, or the discard bin, I can get at that PDQ before anyone else. Because I can check it every hour or so if I really wanted to. And that's why I got my freezer. <laughs> what else did I get? Back in there, I got my coffee table there. I got all kinds of stuff. Some carpet for the bus. And uh, it's really paid off. You know, to be that close to the earth, or close to the ocean floor. I'm proud, but I don't have pride. You know, that's how I work it. So, and if something good, you know, like I said, I know a lot of people that would dive into the bottom of a discard bin for $700. Voila. Beautifully done. Breakfast at Gary's. I should open myself a, a, a breakfast thing only continental. Because I've had breakfast in uh, Belgium. Or in uh, Holland. And Germany and France, and they don't eat this. This is a lot of food for, you know. They have uh, croissants and jellies and butters and all that, and a lot of coffee. All right, there it is. Not by your wits, not by your worries. Peace. Bye.